Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video about Singe. This is gonna be like a Singe guide. Um, I'm currently in plat, and I'm sitting on a decent win rate with 64% out of 81 games. In the past seven days, I'm 14 and two as Singe. So all these games I play obviously are in plat. Um, this specific game is is pretty short, um, but I just want like a sample game to show you guys. So. As this plays on, I'm just going to tell you like a build that I do in runes. So runes, um, the thing with Singed is he's very weak early game. Um, so I used to run Conqueror, but that doesn't really work for me anymore. So I found that Aftershock was the best. Um, and so I run Aftershock, Font of Life. I run bone plating or second wind depending on the matchup. If it's poke, I take spawn. second wind. If it's like more an all in bruiser, I take bone plating and I take unflinching. And then second, you want futures market and time warp tonic on the inspiration tree. And then you get two of the adaptive force and then armor. Um, yeah, this just helps with the proxying because I mostly proxy. Matchups you want to look out for are like range poke, like Kennen, Jace, Nar, Teemo, but you could still beat them. Um, Singed fallen. works best against tanks, and Cho'Gath's sitting here because he knows I'm going to proxy. So I'm just like walking around, and I don't know he's there, so I don't know what he's doing. He's going to do a little BM right there, but um, I'm still going to proxy. Di if Diana came, I would have to run out, but she didn't, so he's not really going to do anything because I'm trying to zone him out right here, so... Yeah, he's not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna walk around him. So Cho'Gath's not a bad matchup, but um, I usually ban Jax or Darius. Um, so those two are hard to do go against. Now this ward right here, this ward is key. I always, when you're early proxy, you want to ward right here because usually nine out of ten times jungler starts bottom, then goes up to here, and then he'll gank you here. So it'll give you like a head start to see. If he's coming or not um yeah that's really it and then um i usually do three proxies when i i, I would go like over here like hold on pause it. i would go over here on my third proxy and then execute try to execute myself but um this game i don't because well i get a little bit of a pickle uh yeah um yeah we proxy a little bit let me speed this up yeah, and then Jarvin's here, I see him. Uh, I go, and nothing really happens. I target the blue buff to let my jungler know the blue buff's off, or he's at the blue buff. And now I see that Diana is pushed up, and it's not good, so... Or at least. So I come in, ghost in, and yeah. Oh, and the thing I forgot to add is... Oh, that's cool for me. So yeah, you always want to roam mid. Roaming mid is really good for Singe players because you're always on the top side jungle so mid laners doesn't know what they're doing which is a lot of them you could get easy kills um also i run for summoners ghost and exhaust or ghost ignite but exhaust usually i do when the jungler since the jungler is a j4 or the mid laner is a diana they could burst me down or like you know or fight me early so I take Exhaust. I take Ignite if I want kills, but usually I take Exhaust even if there's Bruisers top lane like Darius or Aatrox or Riven. Um, yeah, so we're going to see what happens here. There's a big wave here. And another thing I want to add is I know people are going to ask, um, what do you do when you can't proxy and uh, like you can't push the wave up and you can't proxy? Because the dude is, uh, you know, pushing you out of lane. And th nothing really happens here. Um, you want to skip a wave. If, if you have to, skip the wave. And then go around and proxy. Like, because then the top laner is going to try to fight you. And, you know, you should, you should be able to get out and still proxy. But if you are in a bit of, like, a situation where you can't push up the wave. Like, if he was zoning you right here, which he's not. Um, I would just go around and then skip this wave, for example, or at least try to get half the wave to follow you this way, and then maybe you'll get some lucky, you know, minions. But obviously, this Shogat has nothing on me. I love to engage, but I don't really do damage. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, so, uh, build paths. Uh, I didn't talk about that yet, so I'm gonna go this way and proxy. Build paths, you wanna take, you wanna usually rush Rylice first. That's the key thing. You wanna start, for example, uh, what is it? I take Dark Seal and a uh, refillable potion. Then on your back with Futures Market when you proxy, you wanna take uh, Corrupting Potion and Boots, and then you should be set. Like, you should be definitely set. And then um, for an 80 heavier team with physical damage, you wanna get after Rylai's Dead Man's. If it's more magic, you wanna take ZZ Rot. The reason I like ZZ Rot is because of the movement speed buff, you got the Void Gate, and you got some of that armor too. I don't like any of the other magic resist items because it didn't really do anything for you. And Singe needs to move quick so he can roam around. Um, yeah, then I usually take Abyssal Mask for, you know, the passive magic damage. Early Angie's for more damage. And then after that, it's really up to you if you want to go tanky. If they have a lot of attack speed people. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, I take Frozen Heart or you can get Thorn Mail. It doesn't really matter. But, um... Singe does fall off late game. Mid game, he's pretty strong, especially if you get fed. Um, Cho'Gat TP's here, which is a really bad idea. He's gonna take this abuse from me. And then I flip him right when um, he does that, so, you know, I'm not CC'd. And then I know we're gonna die from here because my kindred's here, and she said on the way because she wants her stack. But she probably is gonna go for him first after I push up the wave or her stack first. But I know what's gonna happen. So, so um, yeah, he's trying to freeze the wave so I don't proxy. But th that's stupid because he's taking minion aggro. And then Kindred's here, and obviously this is easy to kill. I exhaust him so he doesn't do damage with his ult. He flashes so I get flash and a kill. Um, yeah. That's really it. The key, key to Singe is, I know it's hard to find it, but you really need a good jungler. Like, that's the thing. If you could duel with somebody that's a good jungler, you could destroy the enemy team. Like, other games, like, this is really, like, a high kill game, but I would invade the jungle with my jungle and, uh, kill the enemy jungler so many times to set them behind. You just need synergy with Singed. Um, that's really it. Let me speed this up. Oh, my god. Oh. Wow. Uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> yeah, I don't really use this often, but, uh, whatever you just saw, I just, you know, fought him a little bit. My team's doing well because, you know, I got the pressure top lane. Um, most junglers should ignore Singe, um, if you can get some kills on him, that's good. But, uh, another thing that's, I kind of don't like is the tower plating. So you have to go close for the tower plating to actually get the tower plating. Most of the time, that's not the case when you're And, um, I don't know if this is my- No, this is her ward, but usually I do put a control ward here, too. When I'm, uh, proxying. Um, Jarvan's here, so I said, hey, let's kill him. But I think- I think I messed this up. I don't W. Yeah. I tried to go for the, um, the root. But, uh, I'm just zoning him out. He just can't really do anything. He's gonna have to back because he knows we're here. Um, yeah, I don't, I, 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 I don't know, see, like, he's scared, like, he's taking that way. Um, hold on, what's, what's the next play here? Um, okay, so, you know, I just do the same thing over and over again. Hold on, let me go back a little bit. So, I'm going up to lane, I see he's, you know, pushing my tower, he's got a tower board. So I just ghost and um, ult to get on him. He has no mana, so he's, and I, he blew his flash earlier. So he's done. He can't do anything. And then he's gonna try to somehow juke me, I don't know, and then, you know, boom. Yeah, that's really it. Jarvan's there, but Jarvan can't do anything. Um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know, I don't know what, where they go from this, uh, that's really singed, I mean, I could speed this up and see what happens. I could probably cut to a car so I'm not just droning on. Um, I got a couple of tower tradings there, that, as you saw. Um, so, oof, this thing's still going fast, um, 
Yeah, so my bot lane has control, blah blah blah. Would you like some tea with your wine? Okay, so I decide to go mid. Um Yeah, just so we can get this tower for this tower. That's probably why I went. Um Yeah, I'm gonna kill Cho'Gath here because he's pushed up again. I don't know why. I mean he's you know I don't know. That's why you put the signal is missing. And then he knows I'm coming because of uh, this ward. And I ghost because, you know, I <laughs> So I ground him there. He can't move. Still can't move. A little bit of BM. And as simple as that. Um, it's like I killed Jarvan somewhere here. Oh, and uh, flash, flash. really it. I mean, like, they're, they're like down, what is it, 5,000 gold, down 10 kills, down a tower, down one dragon. It's a decent game. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna keep going top lane. I think this, this is gonna be like a early <laughs> surrender. I go through tower because I want the Jarvan and the proxy, but Jarvan got out. And I think that should be it. I mean, I think they're gonna FF somewhere here. Yep, surrendered. And boom, that's it. Yeah, so, um, that's really it. I mean, uh, if you guys have any questions, like, on certain matchups or something, uh, you could ask me. Um, that's, that's really it. He's, uh, Syringe is a fun, good pick. Um, not many people play him, but uh, he's he's fun. I don't one-trick him, but he's one of my favorite champions to play. That's why I have the most games on him. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you guys have any questions or matchups, please free, feel free to, in the comments, contact me somehow. I, I don't know. Um, I don't really stream, but you could check out my Twitch. Um, sometimes I stream the schedule that's on there. Uh sometimes i make videos so look out for that uh thanks for watching guys um and i'll see you later